The future champions of the UFC come here to begin their climb to the top. Chris Lieben. Diego Sanchez. The ultimate fighter has become the proven breeding ground for rising MMA stars. One fighter has gone from contestant to coach to reigning light heavyweight champion of the world. This season, 32 warriors get their shot. Led by two legendary heavyweight coaches. Frank Mir, submission specialist and former title holder, infamous as the man who snapped Tim Sylvia's arm. And Antonio Minotaro Nogueira, the current UFC heavyweight champ and the only fighter in history to hold both UFC and Pride heavyweight titles. A technical Brazilian jiu-jitsu master with over 30 professional wins, Nogueira has the potential to be the greatest heavyweight ever. It begins now. Who will become the ultimate fighter? What's up, boys? Line up over here, guys. So we're bringing in the 32 fighters. Basically, just like last season, they're going to have to fight their way into the house. We got all the guys lined up. You know, I'm getting ready to say, welcome to the UFC Training Center, et cetera, et cetera. And... Hang on, hang on. Let him, let him sit down, let him sit down. One of the guys faints, <laughs> just drops dead on the floor. I thought it was the heat or the nerves. I was like, damn, you know? <laughs> just lucky it wasn't me. Yeah! Oh, that shit was loco, dog. Like, you know, I was expecting carbon monoxide, more people to pass out, or I don't even know, with anthrax, dog, Al Qaeda, I don't even know what the hell to tell you, dog. I'm not a man of excuses, but uh, I didn't realize how, how hot Vegas could be, 105 degrees. You all right, bro? He didn't have a seizure. You know, nothing was seriously wrong with him. He just basically fainted. All right, so this is it. Two weight classes, 155 pounds and 205 pounds. I've started to get some competitive juices flowing a little bit when I saw the cage. You know, that's where I'm gonna be spending my next uh, three fights or so. This season, Two guys will leave with a six-figure contract with the Ultimate Fighting Championship. I'm ready to punch all these dudes in the face. And I don't give a if he's in the UFC or not. Anderson Silva, I don't care. Throw me 500 bucks, I'll fight Chuck Liddell. But before you even get the chance to, to stay here and bust your ass for six weeks, you gotta get into the house first. I came ready to fight. I didn't care if I had to fight the 205ers. I was ready. You have the opportunity to train with two of the best fighters ever. So let me introduce your coaches. Noguera, Pride heavyweight champion. Now UFC heavyweight champion. Legend in this sport, one of the greatest heavyweights to ever live. I love to compete, you know, so I love to have this chance to compete against Frank Mir's uh, team because he will be my opponent. So the fight starts right now. The cerebral Frank Mir. Frank Mir, former heavyweight champion of the UFC. And arguably one of the best heavyweights on the ground ever in the sport. walking in, it's just, it's very, it's kind of overwhelming at first. You see so many different faces, I'm trying to look, and then looking over at Nogueira, who I've seen, you know, before, it was just very, uh, uh, a nervous situation. Nogueira has the heavyweight title, Frank Mir wants the title back, and all the questions will be answered as two of the greatest ground heavyweights will face off in a fight after this show. 
In 24 hours, you guys will weigh in and fight in 48 hours. You ready? Yeah. That's it. Welcome to the UFC Training Center. Good luck. All right? So many expectations, so many hopes, and I get to see the dreams of 32 guys that are just on the line. And, you know, I could feel for them. I could feel the energy coming off of them. No, Gare, I'm so excited just the fact that he's here because I think he's going to teach me more about what real heart is and how to really stay in the battle. I like to train them very hard. If they deserve to be a champion, they got it to work hard. How many, how many pounds you see? Ten. Ten pounds? Go ahead. This is the UFC. There's no messing around. When they say make weight, that means make your weight. The weight cutting process takes time. And if you're not good at it, you either need to fight at a different weight or don't fight at all because it's part of being a professional. Brother, Two uh, Time to get I had uh, 11 to cut. Losing the weight's really not that big a deal for me. I've been doing it for a long time. Jason Guidon, he's really struggling today. Uh, I can see 31 other guys that are just as miserable who have to do the same thing that are, are making it a lot easier than Jason. I saw Jason come into the gym today, and I saw, you know, he was struggling really bad. He was cramping up really bad. His muscles in his ribs were locking up real bad in his neck and his back. He asked me to get some ice, try to keep his score temperature down. Jason Guida is the brother of Clay Guida, who is a very exciting, charismatic UFC fighter. Um, Clay Guida is 155 pounds. Jason Guida is 205 pounds, we thought. <laughs> I really uh, have been working towards this UFC dream here for six years now. I'm 30 years old. I can't toil on small cards for the next few years, I might as well just go and get a, get a real job. Two or four. 152. Two or four. 154. If you're coming into a show that I'm not prepared. 205, thank you. Then, you know, it's on you. I, I made sure I was prepared. I came here uh, uh, in good shape and ready to go. 156. 202. Ah, hold them all. Ah, hold me, hold me. Oh, sure. my quads. Oh, f everything. I don't want it to tear. I don't want it to tear. Oh, f all right, dude, just don't Sorry want you to tear. This. I'm trying to help him out to the best we can today and, and, and see what we can do, but he's struggling really badly. Well, your blood pressure's a little low. What? The doctors will only allow people to cut so much weight. I'll be back in a minute. Because what starts to happen is your, your kidneys actually start to shut down. Keith, do you want to weigh him and then send him in for IV fluids? Because he really needs IV fluids. He's obviously trying to lose weight and he's just severely dehydrated. I'll weigh him, I'll weigh him. Basically, the doctor and Kaiser say, if this guy weighs in at 206, we'll, uh, we'll let him fight. The weight wasn't going to beat me. I'm not Gay Brudiger. I'm not walking out of that house until, you know, somebody makes me walk out of the house, I, you know. Where's the best spot to stand on this thing? 207. You missed weight. <laughs> Honestly, I don't really care if Jason Guida made weight or didn't make weight. This was one of the biggest opportunities of his lifetime.